Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chung here. So today, um, let's take a look at this uh, 1027 longest arithmetic subsequence. <clears throat> so given like an array of a of integers, okay, return the length of the longest ar arithmetic subsequence in a. Okay, so first it's a subsequence. So subsequence means that you can pick any of the numbers here, but you have to keep the uh, the sequence. Which means basically you can keep you can pick three, nine, twelve, but you have to keep the, uh, the sequence, right? And <clears throat> so basically that's that's how they explain the subsequence first. And then it it, it uh, tells you that a sequence B is arithmetic if all the numbers in this subsequence is uh, they have the same uh, different different values, okay? So which means that, you know, for example, this one here, right? So the arithmetic uh, longest subsequence is 3, 6, 9, and 12, because each of them has like a uh, same difference, which is 3 here. So 3, 3. That's why the, the answer for this example 1 is, is 4, okay? And then for example 2 here, right? So the longest subsequence is it's 4, 7, and 10, uh, whose uh, difference is also 3 here. Okay, and this, the last one is the, uh, you know, the difference can be uh, can be negative. In this case, it's negative 5 here, right? That's why the um, the, the the answer for the, for example, 3 is 4. Hmm. So, you know, so at least what's what was my thinking process for this one is what was the uh, you know at the beginning you know i was like i was kind of kind of debating if i should use because i, I saw this like uh, longest or the biggest or smallest you know because i i always try to to think if i if i could use the uh, the binary search to solve this problem you know you know, because I, I, I was kind of debating either I should, I should use the binary search or the uh, the the, dyna, the DP, right? So, so that I, I first try to think in a binary search way. So if we think it in a binary search way, it will be like something like this, right? Right. So basically, we have a we have a middle, right? We have a middle values there, and then and we are assuming this middle is the length. Okay, is this is the length that we we are we're trying to get here? Basically, basically that's the longest arithmetic subsequence in A. Uh, we're assuming we use middle, and then we just use a helper functions to, uh, to try to validate if we can find such length, such sub arithmetic subsequence with this length in this A. Okay, and then we just do a, with that helper function, we can continue to our uh, the binary search, right? But for that helper functions here, right? For the helper functions, you know, uh, actually, it's it it won't that it won't be that easy to to implement basically you know even even though we know this this answer here right so still with these answers we have to somehow loop through all the numbers here right basically we have to try three six and then we, we know okay so the difference with three six is, is three and then we just keep going have three and and and, the, and then and so on and so forth right and then if we can find it, we just return true. Uh, otherwise, if we cannot find it with three here, then we have to go to the, uh, we have to try uh, three, three, nine, right? And then three, 12, and then six, nine, six, 12. We have to try, basically, we have to try all the combinations to come up with the, uh, with a difference. And then we, we, we use that difference as like, uh, as, a, as, a, as a criterion. And then we will try to ex expand basically the subsequence with that, I mean, execute uh, criterion, which will be, I don't think it's it's doable, or it's, at least it's not that obvious to do. So then I just uh, scratch that uh, binary search solutions away. And then, then what's left is the dynamic programming, right? So, I mean, with, with kind of this kind of a list and ask you to, to get the longest, either the arithmetic subsequence or the longest uh palindrome subsequence right we always use the dynamic programming so now so with the dynamic programming right so we have a we have a dp right so we have dpi here right and the dpi we have here and then we have we try to 
uh, uh, come up with a DPI, a deduct the DPI from the DP uh, K, right? Right. So K is K is zero, zero, zero to I, something like this, right? Uh, okay, right. So between zero and I, something like this. So for example, you know, let's give it. Let's try some examples here. The uh, for example, the, the, uh, this one here. Let's let's take this example too as our example here, right? So so let's say we have mm, assuming we have a uh, we have we have seven here, right? We have seven here, and then how can we get the DP seven? Right. So what? So what's the, the DP seven here? So the DP seven means that we need to know the uh, the basically basically by at this seven, right? Ending at the seven, what's the uh, the longest arithmetic uh, subsequence, right? Ending with seven. So that's our definition, right? Of our of this DP. But to be able to get that, right? Basically, you know, we know this number is seven, but to be able to get the uh, the arithmetic numbers, we have to basically we have to loop through everything from zero to i minus one. Okay. In this case, we have to check uh, all the numbers uh, before seven, right? So for example, this is four. We check uh, uh, we check four. So if we know, okay, so the the other number is four, and then we know, okay, the difference we're looking for is we're looking for is three here, okay. And then we'll be like, okay, so with three here, uh, we need to know, okay, do does this number four have any length that's that's uh, subsequent that uh, has a difference three here? Because you know this this four could have different length of that. You know, I'll give you an example here. Let's say we have a one, two, three, and a four. Okay, and then seven, seven. Um, Two and ten. Okay. So as you guys can see, so with with ending four here, we have different uh, subsequence, right? We have we have one four. Okay. So with, with one and four, the difference is is three here, right? So with three, the length is, is two. How about the two four? So the two four, the difference is two, right? And the length is also two. And with three four, the difference is one, and then the length is also two. So now when we add seven here, right? We add seven, and then we, we and then we will check four here, okay? Which means that for each of the this DP element here, we need to maintain a dictionary. We cannot use a single single integer to represent the uh, the state of this because, like uh, as you guys can see here, right? So for each at each of the of this element here, we could have multiple combinations of difference in this case at, at four here we have three we have three possible possible uh, subsequences with different with different interval right that's why you know uh, that's why we have to uh, maintain all of them so and at at each at seven here right so at seven here so we'll look for what we'll, when we are comparing with four here we know the difference is three here right so then we know okay so do we have three in here okay we we have three right so which means that okay we we find like an, an a subsequence that's with three here so which means at seven here so the different the we have a three here and the length is three here right so now because this one will become like three because of plus seven and then for seven and then the next one will be seven seven and, and three here Right, so the difference is is four, but for in but in three here we don't have four because for three we only have like two, two and one two, which coming from one and two. We don't have four here, right? So that's why with four uh, with four here we have we have we have two, okay, plus itself. So that's that's how we are updating our our DP our DP array here. So basically every time. When we when we when we have like a when we loop through the uh, the previously element, we'll update the current uh, hash table for this DP. Okay, and then in the end, and while we're finishing 
uh, loop finishing uh, updating the current one basically will try to look for the biggest one among all those, the values in the hash table because you know the the subsequence could end up at any position that's why we cannot only look for the last one we have to look for all the all the elements okay so yeah so basically that's that's pretty much the the intuition here so with, with the dpi here right so basically we have like uh how can i uh, implement this thing here uh so this dpi uh, will equal to a dp k right so the k is equal to what uh sorry the dp uh, j a uh, k or i'll call it a dpj j is between o and and i and then for in inside of dpj here we'll, we'll be looking for the values right the, the values will be the difference so we have a difference here okay this one will be basically more something like like this okay and here we'll have like a difference the dif we also have a dif here since we are storing like a hash table, basically the first one is the, the index of this hash table and the second one is the, va the key of the hash table. So something like this. Of course, we have to uh, initiate the at zero, the difference with zero for each of the, the, the element with, with one. That's gonna be the, the base case. But you know that's the uh, basically the, the, the state transition for this DP problem. Okay, and in the end, we just get the maximum of this DPI out of out of, uh, out of all the values in the in its uh, hash table. Cool. So, and yeah, I think I explained. I think I have explained enough. Let me try to implement this thing. So the code won't be that long, you know. Basically, you know, it's pretty straightforward, right? I mean, the the length is uh, n here, and then like I said. Um, at least for me, I'm using like a dictionary here. So basically, I'm uh, defining a hash table, right, for I uh, in range n here. Okay, so that's how I define it. You know, uh, keep in mind that you 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 cannot do something like this. You cannot do something uh, like like this. Okay, if you do that, right? I mean, but this one means that you know, for each of the row here, right? So uh, for all all the n elements here, I mean, if you update a uh, one element, so basically they will share the same reference. They will share the, 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 the same dictionary. Basically, if you update the, the the first one, it will update all the other hash tables for you. So that's why you cannot do this, since this is like a, it's not a, like an integer, it's a, it's a hash table. So that's why you have to use something like this so that you, you could create a separate uh, hash table for each of the, uh, the element here. Okay, so, okay, and then we have an answer equals to zero. So like I said, you know, we, we just simply loop through the each element, right? And then, so first uh, we need to assign this uh, current i with different zero with one. Okay, so why we, we need to assign set, uh, set, set this one? Because the, uh, let's say we have a four, four, four and four. Okay, so in this case, you know, uh, the difference between four and four will, I mean, will be will be zero. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> probably, uh, you know what? Maybe we don't need this. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Let me let me try to uh, implement the, the the rest. Basically, and the second loop is this one for J. Uh, for j between zero and i, right? Basically, we're trying to, to look through all the previously elements, and now we have difference, right? So with these two numbers, we have difference. Difference will be like the a i minus a j, right? So that's the current difference, and then we check if the difference is okay. If the diff is is not in the the dp dpj, right? Remember, so we have a Basically, if the diff difference is not in in there, if not in there, so what does this mean? It means that okay, we cannot, we don't have anything coming from the previous previously uh, node. So which means that we can simply set this DPI 
and difference into two, right? Because I know for two, that's, I think two kind of, kind of makes sense, right? Because, you know, for seven and four, right? As long, so with those two, they can, of course, uh, form at least uh, a length of, of two subsequence, right? So that's why if, if the diff is not in the previous, previous one, which means that from four uh, onward, there's no more uh, different elements that can, no more other elements that can give us like a diff the same difference, right? So that's why we just set it to two. Otherwise, right, if we find it, we simply do this dp i diff uh, plus, right, plus dp plus, okay, sorry. Not that dp, uh, I, I sorry, j and diff, okay, plus one. So, right, so basically if we find the, this diff in the previously uh, hash table, and then we simply uh, do a plus one on top of that, and then we assign this one to it, okay? So, and after this for loop, right, we have finished uh, updating the DP values for the current uh, element. We can simply uh, do a answer equals to max of the answer dot, you know, um, so here we have to do, uh, basically we need to get the maximum out of this dictionary, right? So we have a dictionary and in order to get the max of the dictionary, we just need to do uh, uh, the max of the value, right? So not the max of the, uh, the key. So basically the max of the dpi dot values. Yeah, because if you, if you simply do a, a dpi, so basically it, it by default, it's it's uh, assuming you are getting the keys, but here we need the values, right? That's why we need to do uh, adult values, okay? Of the uh, oh, sorry, the max is a, is a is a function here, okay? Yeah, like I said, we cannot sim we cannot update the max in the end the answers in the end because the subsequent it could end uh, end at any any position. So did I miss the? I think I missed the. Uh, parentheses here. Okay. Yeah. So now we just simply return the answer. Yeah. I think this should work. Let me try to run. Mm. DPI. Uh, let me see. Yeah, okay, it says, it says the this argument is an empty sequence. I think that's why we need to like uh, initialize the uh, the zero for each of the elements first, because at least the element itself with the difference at zero, it can form like a length of length of one subsequence, right? So run the code. Yeah, so now this one, this thing works. So let's try to submit it. Yeah, cool. So. It accepted. All right. So, yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much it is. So for this time and space complexity, right? So for this space time complexity, we have an n here, right? So, and here we have a, a nested for loop here, right? So basically it's an n square. And this part is like a O1. Here we have another like n here, but it doesn't doesn't really matter. It's a it's parallel with this, uh, this for loop here. So the time complexity is, is n square and space complexity is of course is the uh, we have two dimensionals here right so the first dimension is n and the second one is the uh, basically is how many different how many different values we have here right that's that's that would de determine the size of this dictionary here and regarding to the values here Basically, this is n here, right? And this is m. Yeah. So, so basically, the space complexity is n times m here. Yep. Cool. I think that's yeah. That's pretty much it is for this problem. You know, it's a it's a pretty 
normal like DP problem, you know, as long as you guys can can find can realize that, you know, at one of at each of the item of the DP uh, element, we cannot simply use one numbers to represent the state because uh, this arith this the, the different the diff could be different based on the uh, the, the previously uh, based on the previously different numbers here. That's why we have to store all all the possible all the, the differences in this DP. So which means that we need to use like a hash table to do that. And as long as you can figure out uh, the structure of this DP here, I think the rest should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, cool. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, see you guys soon. Bye-bye.